In ancient times, men and women are allowed to get married after the coming of age ceremony. Back in the old times, people shared the view of parents' decisions and matchmakers' words, 父母之命，媒妁之言 which means whom to marry should be decided by parents. And the professional matchmakers should be hired to help with the communication between the two families. That is why many couples had never met each other before they got married. And the traditional wedding follows a specific procedure, including six steps. The first step is called na chai, by which the man's family entrusts the matchmaker with the task of offering the marriage proposal to the woman's family. Normally, similar social standards and economic conditions of the two families predominate the prospects of this match. The second step is Wenmin. The matchmaker will ask about the woman's basic information, such as her name and the date of birth. Next step is called Naji. Based on the information collected, the man's family performs the divination. Which, if turns out well, the message will be delivered to the other family, along with gifts of engagement. The fourth step is Na Zheng, meaning the man gives dowries or bride price to the woman. Chinese people have a habit of sending costly dowries. As in modern society, the woman's family often expects her future husband to own a new house. Before they get married, next is to decide the wedding date. Also, 请期 in Chinese, the men will decide the date through divination. Finally, it comes to the sixth step called 亲迎 The groom, together with friends and families, goes to the bride's home to escort the bride. After the bride arrives at the groom's home, accompanied by him. A feast will be held, and the couple will be asked to share a piece of meat and drink cross-cupped wine from one another's glasses. Throughout history, there have been some changes and adjustments concerning these six steps. Typically, during the Song and Yuan Dynasty, the bride and groom needed to kneel down first for the worship of the heaven and earth. And second, to thank the parents of the two sides, and the third to each other. Customs of ethnic minorities also had some impacts on the Han people, such as crossing a brazier, removing the bride's veil, and teasing the new couple on wedding night.